We're coming off of a big get back game against the Chiefs where we won 24 to 7. And in that game, I had a pick six that was at all the way at our goal line and went for 98 yards. I also had a forced fumble. That was a crazy game. Now we're playing against the Bills, who's another great quarterback, but he ain't looking too great on this play. He throws the ball directly to the defender and it just bounced off his head. That was weird. But then he makes up for it on third and seven, throwing this ball to his receiver on the out route. I don't know what it is about my bad angles, my first and I have an easy tackle, but I take a terrible angle at him, and he gets an easy walk-in touchdown because of me. But then I'm making up for it on first and 10, running straight to the left side, he's throwing a slant, that's mine. Now it's a tie game, 7-7 seven seven on first and 10. They're running the ball. There's a blocker on me. I hit him. I didn't even know I really hit him, really. I kind of barely made it. Second and 7, they run the ball up the middle. I'm still getting my hit stick in. He ain't lose the ball, though. I need that ball out. Second and 4, Josh Allen's trying to throw a quick slant, and that defender is all over that, deflecting the ball. Then on third and 4, this DB actually got beat, but Josh Allen threw that ball too low, and he found a way to deflect the ball. That would have been a touchdown, probably. First and 10, and this time Josh Allen's going to his number one receiver guarded by our number one corner, and PS2 actually got beat over the top for the first down. Go in the middle of the field on first and 10, and this running back just ran right past me getting the first down. Second and 10, and Gabriel Davis is on a flat route, and Josh Allen's getting this ball straight to him, scoring the touchdown, taking the lead. End of the second quarter on second and 10, this receiver is catching the ball and hits the game, forcing the fumble. If he wouldn't have fumbled there, they probably would have ended up with a field goal. This is good. 14 to 10 in the third quarter. I'm trying to hit stick this running back, and I'm completely missing him. Man, I got to work on my accuracy. They're not in the red zone on our side of the field. They're holding him up. I'm trying to hit stick him, trying to make him fumble, but he's not losing that ball. Second and five, they're running a stretch play to the left, and I'm trying to hit stick him, but I just miss him. He was falling anyway. Now on first and go, Josh Allen just throwing this ball to a wheel route to his running back, and he's getting an easy touchdown. They end up getting the ball back. We're down 21 to 10, and Stephon Diggs actually beat PS2, but good thing Josh Allen overthrew it. Well, we lost this game 24 to 17. The offense took too long to start scoring. I guess at least I got a pick in this game, you know what I'm saying? Trying, trying to be number one in picks. Going into week 11, we're playing against the 7-3 Vikings. We're 6-3. Justin Jefferson is going to be a hard task for PS2. We're going to see how he do. And currently, I'm number one in the interception leaders with six picks and four pass deflections. Let's keep the lead. We got them at second and long, and Justin Jefferson is running a drag route. PS2 couldn't really keep up with him. He's getting bumped and everything. I'm trying to make tackle. He's breaking it, getting the third and two. Then on third and two, Kirk Cousins is being his trash self and just inaccurately throws a curl out. Second and 10, I let the running back catch the ball on purpose so I can go ahead and hit stick him, make him lose that ball, and PS2 is picking it up. We already on this side of the field. Offense can get some points easily, please. 14 to 0 now, and Kirk Cousins is hitting Justin Jefferson for this first down, and he's getting a lot of yards off of this play. They run the ball on first and 10. I'm trying to get my hit stick in. He's holding them up, and I'm trying to hit him. I'm not able to really get the, the hit stick in I wanted. Second and seven. PS2 is on the island, and Justin Jefferson kills him to the inside, getting the first down. I ain't going to lie. He's having a good game right now. Then on first and 10, Kirk Cousins throws a back shoulder to Justin Jefferson, and he caught that ball. Oh, my God, PS2. I'm sorry. And since you couldn't see it, we're going to have to go ahead and watch it on the replay. PS2, where was you at? Of 14 to 7 at the end of the second quarter, and PS2 is finally getting a pass breakup on Justin Jefferson. Third and two, and Kirk Cousins has an open route down the field, but he just underthrows it, and it gets deflected. Perfect. On first and 10, I run the ball to the opposite side. I'm still coming in, getting my head stick, making him lose the ball. You cannot run to the opposite side. I'm fast enough to get over there and still lay wood. Going to flats on second down, he's throwing it to the flats, and I'm hit stick at him, and I need that ball out. Then on third and one, Kirk Cousins throws an inaccurate pass, and now they got to punt the ball. Third quarter, and we've been playing some amazing defense, and look at PS2 breaking on the ball on Justin Jefferson and deflecting it. 
third and ten, and we are locking these boys all the way up. Kirk don't know where to throw the ball to. He throws the ball out of bounds. Still 21-7 to in the fourth quarter. He's throwing this ball up to Justin Jefferson, but PS2's in front of that ball. He has to be able to pick that ball off. Fourth and two, Kirk Cousins has his receiver, Justin Jefferson, open, catching the ball. But I'm coming in. His stick and him making him fumble, PS2. I got you. Of 24 to 7. At this point, PS2 has found out how to stop Justin Jefferson getting another deflection. Game is basically over with. On first and 10, that guy's breaking the tackle, and I'm hit sticking him, forcing another fumble. That's like three forced fumbles in this game. Crazy. We win this game 24 to 7. I had seven tackles in this game with three forced fumbles. That is crazy. Playing the Browns in week 12, and this is a game we should definitely be able to win. And Deshaun Watson is trash, inaccurately throwing a curl route. I don't know what's going on. Third and 10, and PS2 is all over Mark Cooper, and Deshaun Watson is still throwing it. Now, that was dumb. PS2 is catching this pick and going home for six. I'm 7-0. They're running the ball up the middle. I'm trying to get my hits again, but I can't. It's too much people in there. We still stopping the run, though. Second and seven. They run the ball again. I'm trying to hit stick him, but this lineman came out of nowhere to block me. They're getting closer and closer to the touchdown. I'm trying to hit stick him, but he's already falling. That's annoying. I ain't going to lie. Now on third and four, Deshaun Watson is hitting his tight end open on a drag route for the first down. I don't know how they messed up this open touchdown, but somehow the receiver had to run backwards to catch this ball. Fourth and goal now. Fourth and goal. They're actually going for it here, and Deshaun Watson scrambles out to the right side. There's a flag on the field. I'm trying to hit him, but he just breaks my tackle, but that doesn't even matter because the flag was holding, so they're going to have to kick the field goal. All right, man. Seven to three, third and one, and Amari Cooper is actually beating PS2 to the inside, getting a big first. Then on second and 10, I'm blitzing, trying to get a sack, but I can't because it's a screen play, but at least I made him inaccurately throw that screen. It, it was right in front of me. I don't know how he missed it. Third and 10, he trying to throw this slant, but Mark Cooper got bumped, so it was it was bad. Fourth and 10. Uh, 14 to 6, now this running back's running up the middle. I'm hit sticking him, and he is not letting go. On second and four, I see this guy going on the flat, so I'm coming down, laying a big hit on him, preventing the first. He's not letting go of the ball, though. Of 21 to 6 in the third quarter, and Deshaun Watson doing a read option. I'm hit stick at him, and that ball is flying out of his hands, and we got it on their side of the field already. Now, on first and 10, Amari Cooper actually beats PS2, but I'm here for you, PS2. Give me that pick. Game's over with, but this receiver thought he beat me on this slant. Nah, I'm making him drop that ball. This game's over with. What a blowout. Like I said, this is a game we should be able to win. 31-6. to I had a pick in this game. I had a pass deflection and a forced fumble. Went crazy. And with that win, we are now the fourth seed in the playoffs. We got to keep winning to get up. Come on.